Welcome to the matrix of an anomaly But we don't just choose anybody Nah This man right here Deserved every bit of shine That he acquired in this episode And yes <laughs> Things did get emotional but Just know It's all worth it Love you bro Kind of talk about how being an anomaly has been always a thing for you. It, I'm, and I'm not just saying this, like I, I can't stand credit. I don't like the limelight. I don't like compliments, none of that. Like I just want to come to work. I want to love on these kids and I want to go home. Uh, here, I guess being in elementary school, it's done a lot. Like I, I get so much feedback. And so a couple months ago, like I kind of realized like, okay, maybe I am doing something different. Maybe I'm not like, you know, everybody else. I'd say in the 33 years that I have been teaching, he is by far the best assistant principal I have ever had. Um, you see it in their faces when they pass him in the hall. They're, they have to try to contain their excitement because they just want to run and hug him. B basketball is my passion. I think basketball led me to teach because I wanted to coach so bad, but I'm glad that I was able to have that transformation. I want to be a head coach for the longest. And a couple years back, I said, okay, well, which route am I going to go? Am I going to go administration? Am I going to go coaching? And I said, whatever opportunity comes first, I'm going to take it. I'm going to run with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that God made it administration. I still love the game, and I still plan on being around it. But I just, I just think kids need to know, because every kid doesn't like basketball. So I was limiting myself by just coaching and just, you know, putting in these kids that play basketball. Let me step back from that. Now I can impact any kid you know, far more than just a basketball player. I can impact any kid. And I think, I really think what I'm doing is, is cliche and it sounds stupid, people laugh. Like I think I'm changing the world. If, if I can put things in these little kids and they can stick with it and they can grow and they share it with other people at home and share it with their friends, it may not impact the whole world big, but it impact this school, it impact Sumter. And we know wherever I am, so I, that's all I'm trying to do. Just make it better. Yeah, that's from the heart, man. Basketball for me is a tool, and I don't think I would be in the position that I am today without basketball. And people don't people don't understand that you can still benefit from basketball without going to the league. I didn't even play college ball, so without even doing that, but I still think basketball made me. I had great high school coaches, a great father that instilled in me, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna play basketball, you need to learn how to be on time, you need to learn how to work in, as a team, you need to learn how to be responsible, hold yourself accountable for the mistakes that you make, learn how to be coached, learn how to take feedback, like that's life. It, it, it seems small in, in a gym setting, but all that is life. If you can do that as, as an adult or as, as a kid growing up and as an adult, you're going to be successful in whatever you're doing. Show up on time. Be nice to people. Share. It's, it's simple things like that. And I try to explain to the kids all the time. You may not, you know, these things may not take you to the league, but they'll take you a whole lot better places than some, you know, than some of your other peers are going. Yeah, just from playing ball. <laughs> Dear Mr. Jefferson, I hope you had a good a good next year. You inspired me so much to be a basketball player. It's cool when you dunk. I think of MJ, but you're RJ. I'm not sure if you'll still be coaching when I get in high school, but if you are, I want you to be my coach. And I want to be the next MJ, but I'm JP. I want to win Rookie of the Year award and be the best I could be and reach my goal. I hope this means a lot to you. Dear Mr. Jefferson, you have, been an, uh, you have been awesome this year helping everyone who needed help, including myself. You taught me some basketball skills. You are one of the best problem solvers I know. Just because of you, I am a greater person today. Appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Shira. I appreciate all that you have done for me. You inspired me to sign up for basketball. You are a brave, athletic leader. You are thoughtful for all of us. You are funny, nice, and helpful. You're the best principal. I have ended up in your office a few times, but you didn't get mad at me. You are nice to everyone, and this letter is in return. You are the best adult in the school. I want you to teach me how to get better at basketball so I can get 
a scholarship for basketball. Thank you for all that you have done. Sincerely, James. Appreciate it, James. I have to tell you this. You are a wonderful man, and you show us kindness every time I fall. You pick me back up, and you show me that I can be. And when you show me I can be better, you inspire me. This is why I love you. Mr. Jefferson, you are really athletic. You are always playing basketball with the boys. You are funny. When I got in trouble for a sign, you called me funny and then made me drop my Chromebook. I appreciate everything you do for me and the school, so thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Love y'all too. Thank y'all. All right, can I have them? No, you gonna keep it? Do you have a picture? I do like it. Y'all did a great job. Some great artwork. Can't put no paycheck on that, man. That's the bottom line. I'm not trying to please anybody else. If, I, if, if you happen to be satisfied in that process, that's great. If I happen to offend you in that process, I apologize. But I'm doing what I think is best for these kids. I love them like they're mine. And like, I don't think a lot of people understand like how much passion stuff I have for these kids. But it's, it's I don't know, I don't know where it came from. I really don't know where it came from, but I, I love it. And I, I, don't want it, I don't want it to change. Regardless of where I go, how high I go, how low I get, I don't want that part to change. I want to keep being you know, who I am, giving these kids what I'm doing.